Uh, welcome to Musik und Frieden in Berlin, where I have Dr. Living Dead from Sweden with me. First of all, guys, could you tell me who and what is band called Dr. Living Dead? Who he is, or who we are. We are. And, uh... Uh, I'm Dr. Rad, I play bass. This is Dr. Mania, he sings. And the, the other two idiots are somewhere around here. So, uh, yeah, but we are the band, but then the band name is also the name of the character which we use which is kind of a guy from space <laughs> green guy he looks a, an awful lot like the hulk but we never knew about the hulk before so what kind of music does uh, dr living dead play uh pretty much like thrash uh uh kind of with a crossover type vibe some some hardcore attitude in there but There's a lot of riffs, so obviously it's more kind of a, a thrash-based sound. But we were pretty influenced by the a lot of stuff from from the 80s and 90s mainly. So, but we are influenced by with others, you know, other kinds of ideas might pop up somewhere in in there. But yeah, that's basically the the, the core. It's about all all killer, no fiddler riffs. Yeah, I guess you uh, heard about never heard this before. But when did the masks? come to play um, yeah we don't ask her anything about the masks. What's <laughs> <laughs> yeah we obviously we, we looked ourselves in the mirror and we realized that we could never build a career upon these faces uh, so we had to think about you know think of some something better uh, but uh, if I'm going to be somewhat serious it's more of uh, more something that, that, like that we came up with to, to, to grab some attention you know what I mean Uh, for uh, for the reason that you know, yeah, it's it's like not just kind of be another band. You know, there are hundreds of bands that go up there and play you know, this style of music. You know, have something that that would be rather unique. And obviously, we kind of came together because we uh, also like have a huge love for like the the Venice beach scene and suicidal and all that stuff. So so this was like our kind of just you know tribute whatever thing to do you know yeah yeah uh on a thought of being serious uh what does actually trash metal mean to you guys is it just drinking beer and headbanging or how do you feel uh <clears throat> you know i'm gonna let my good body answer that <laughs> uh it's basically about drinking beer and headbanging you can't, you can't have the mic i have to hold it Hold it there. No, closer. Uh, what thrash metal means, I guess it's an attitude because the old school bands that everyone grew up on, they don't sound the same, you know. If you compare Metallica and Megadeth and Slayer and Anthrax and the classic, you know, big four, whatever bands, they don't sound the same, you know, at all. But they have this vibe to them, you know. It's It's even more far removed from like the blue space roots of hard rock or whatever, and they infused it with a lot of like hardcore punk aesthetics, I guess. So um, to me, it's about you know vibe, about people coming together and not being too pretentious about music, just fucking giving it all your all you got and having a good time, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of honest, you know. It's kind of honest, you know. It, it's just pretty ba down to the basics but then you can also make you know you can you can make uh incredible like arrangements of the song but it, it's just that if the, if the energy is not there it's, it doesn't sound like trash anymore it has to be like gut feeling in some some sense you know? uh, yeah so you appreciate the old bands too but uh, what is the state of trash metal 2018 um <laughs> that's a tough question uh i guess we We are somewhat part of it, but I mean the the two bands recently that like blew my mind totally uh, on separate occasions were like definitely Power Trip, like one of my favorite bands. I think they they have the just a complete package of everything is awesome with that band, and also uh, had the same you know thing for Vector. Uh, from the, just their their totally unique style of what they were doing, you know, it's like no no one really sounded like that before. So I think those are the like the two best bands to come out of uh, 
the recent years. Uh, and other than that, I, I'm not really sure. Like we, we <laughs> we'll see tonight when the uh, when the first two bands start playing. Maybe they will blow my mind as well. We'll see. Okay, and uh, you are starting your infiltrating uh, Europe tour tonight That's at right. Berlin. So, uh, yeah. what are your expectations for the night and for the rest of the tour? Uh, <clears throat> it was a quite a while. It's been quite a while since we were on tour, and we've only been doing like mainly like festival gigs and stuff so it's and that that's always like a good crowd on a festival you know a lot of people that don't have a clue who you are probably watch you just because they like they like stand stand around to you know drink beer uh and they're already there in the begin in the first place but now it's like we're this is our biggest kind of headlining thing we've ever done as far as the length at least and 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 with the package as well so so we we're kind of nervous, you know. We don't really know what to expect, but we've got a lot of positive response for the new album. So hopefully, you know, people will show up, and po hopefully they remember us from the last time we were here, you know, especially in Berlin, which was like three years ago. Okay, yeah, uh, you already uh, touched the subject, but uh, yeah, your latest album, uh, Cosmic Conqueror, came out last year. What can you tell me about that album? Um, <clears throat> Yeah, uh, we <laughs> we recorded it uh, in uh, with the same same guy who did the last one uh, in a city called Örebro, in Sweden, and it was basically a, a product of just uh, I mean I guess maybe a year of songwriting or something like that, and just a couple of months of rehearsing. Like we didn't rehearse much at all because we're so we're like spread out and we we can't see each other so much because of family duties or work and whatever so uh, it's kind of a you know when I think back it's kind of a miracle that it actually ended up being recorded in the first place because it was a lot of uh, stress involved and it, everything was like scheduled like if it doesn't happen this weekend we're, we're screwed we can't do it <laughs> so so that was kind of the, the thing you know and and uh, the material was yeah, a lot of songs we haven't still to this day never played all four together. So it's kind of a, you know, piecing it together. Like I send something over and, you know, record something. But I mean, we never tried it actually before we recorded. And when you record, you, you don't record everyone all together. We, at least we don't do it like that right now. So, but I think it, it, it turned out pretty good for, you know, I can't believe how good it sounds, considering the the kind of uh, stressful planning that went into it. You know. Okay, and uh, I'm very sorry about this one, but let's make some beef. So <laughs> beef. Oh no! Uh, I uh, uh, you had a Q and A with your fans on Facebook, and somebody asked you what bands you cannot stand, and somebody mentioned. Uh, fellow Swedish bands uh, Kent, Sabaton, and Promo. <laughs> care, to, <laughs> care to elaborate on those? Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm not active on social media, so I'm going to let the, the webmaster do this stuff. I did not write those answers. I can say that our guitar player did. But um, I'll go on record saying that I used to listen to Kent when I was in high school. Uh, I still like their first three albums, actually. Um, and they're pretty low profile these days. I guess they wanted to be like the Swedish U2 or Radiohead combined and very pretentious guys, so it's not you know cool to like them. But I think Toxic was just having fun with that one, so whatever. But for Swedish fans, you know, they get the humor, I guess. But Sabaton, that's a different subject. Uh, yeah, we, no, no one, I mean, no one in the band can stand that then for sure. It's It's... Sounds like Eurovision, you know. That's not metal. No. It will never be. So uh, they they look pretty ridiculous as well. We, I mean, coming from a dude in a in a plastic skull mask. But yeah, take it or leave it. Anyways, uh, I guess Kent is like one of those bands. I I can name like two songs, and I I hate both those songs. But I'm not gonna judge their whole catalog on those songs. So maybe somewhere. I will find a song I like with with those guys, but I don't know. 
I mean, they, they had to do something right because they're so huge in Sweden. So probably, I mean, I could probably find a, one or two songs at least I like, but I can't say that I'm um, like, it's not something I'm spending my time doing. <laughs> I, there's so much good music that you just want to listen to anyway. So. But maybe someday. But yeah, Sabaton, man. Ugh. What can I say? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, and uh, all the best for the tour. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Cheers. Cool. Cheers. Cool.